So as you can see, we freshly shampooed the highlights, and don't be afraid if when you first shampoo your highlights, they're kind of an ugly, brassy, orangey color. The most important thing is to get an even highlight, which is why I want you to use a foil-like situation, because we did get a really nice even highlight, and it's going to look fantastic. And now what we're going to do is to finish drying it, and that's what you can do at home, is just take a blow dryer and dry it, and now we're going to apply our toner. I've chosen a level 8 natural toner, which you can easily buy at a drugstore, or if you're at a beauty supply store, you can ask for Literally, you can look at the shade that you want and buy it and put it on. After you highlight hair with lightener, you can pretty much get what you pick as a toner. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this so that we can apply our toner. So now what I'd like to do is show you how easy it is to mix the toner. Again, as I said, if you've lightened your hair with lightener and you've gotten it the level of lightness that you want, you can pretty much select and buy a toner that looks good and mix it and apply it. I would highly recommend using a demi-permanent or a semi-permanent as a toner so that you can be free to put it anywhere you want and it'll only cover the highlights. If for some reason you purchase permanent color and use it as a toner, you might disrupt the rest of the color on your head and you don't want to do that. So this is a really gentle, no ammonia, demi-permanent toner and it, it's a level 8, which is what we wanted. I think when you're going to apply your toner, you're going to definitely want to wear a big old towel so that you won't spill anything on any of your clothing. And I think it's important to apply the toner away from your face because you don't want to get any color ever in your eyes. So I'm simply going to apply the toner to the highlighted hair. One of the things that's very important when you are doing this application is to be very thorough as to cover all of the highlighted hair. You want it to be even and you want to cover every section that was highlighted, thoroughly saturated each highlighted section so that you get a nice even color result when you're done. With our model's hair today, I selected using a toner because I had a feeling it was going to be a little brassy because of how dark her hair was. If your hair highlights and lifts and you like the color, then you don't have to use a toner. You may not need what is known as a double process, especially if your hair is lighter to begin with. So what I'm going to do is to continue applying the toner to the entirety of the highlights and then we're going to let it process between somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. Again, I think it's important, especially if you're at home, is to keep an eye out for the tone. If you can't see it, take a dry towel and wipe off a little bit of the toner and see if you like the shade. And then we'll shampoo this out again and we shall see the finished result. So it's so exciting. As you can see, we completed the process and we've achieved our desired result. The toner was able to take out a little bit of that unwanted brassiness that we had after the highlights, which you could experience at home as well. We only left the toner on for a few minutes, about eight minutes. I eyeballed it and took it off and shampooed it. And something that's really important for you at home is to maintain your hair with the proper color care. You want to use a product that is specifically formulated to maintain the color that you just did. One thing to keep in mind is not to highlight your hair too often at home. We don't want you to do this on a repeated basis. And if you do experience any problems such as breakage or dry or brittle hair, or if you have any questions about this process whatsoever, to consult a salon professional. Thank you.